today we're heading from Cullen to a place called Bow Fiddle Rock which is just over there it's about seven and a half kilometer round trip and uh, yeah we're going to be there at midday most people <coughs> you know don't have time to visit these places in, in the golden hour as it were so we're just going to take what we get uh, but yes looking forward to it it's a lovely coastline here I don't know whether you hear me for the wind or not, but this is Cullen Harbour in Cullen. And what we're going to do, we're going to head up here on the top and then we're going to walk all the way along the old railway line. And that will take us all the way around to the next village and then down, we'll go down to Bowfiddle Rock and then we're going to come back along the coastline. So we're just walking through the houses now, sort of heading in the general direction of where we think the uh, railway will be, the real world railway line. See that's the old railway line there, at the bottom of the road, but we just can't find our way onto it. So we're just walking up various alleyways. So up there, just there is Castle Hill and then this is the start of the railway line so it was in the end fairly easy to spot it's just that the OS map and that doesn't because there's so many houses around it it's not obvious which one leads up onto here but you can see this sort of construction work and then there's a signs here nice views anywhere there's the view Just over there, you can see just on the right hand side there's a lot of daffodils. That was my first pick of the day, just a record shop. But... Yeah, lovely, lovely coastline here. And that's Fiddle, or Fiddle Rock there, where we're heading. And it's just a nice, steady, flattish walk along the railway. Here we go then, Castle Hill. Castle, or all that's left of it, on Castle Hill. We're walking round, and it had a nice, a nice view. Just look at that, how over Cullen, the harbour, and then round to the headline. Uh, sorry, headland that is. Uh, there's both Fiddle Rock and as you can just see running along here there is the railway line that we're going to be following so a nice gentle walk up to the village ahead and then down to the rock so I hope you can hear me by the way it's uh, very windy well this is all that's left Not much, I'm afraid. Beautiful outlook, though.
interesting on the walk today that I spotted this little mound while we're out and if you look down there that little hole there is for badgers Fiddle Rock now and there it is ahead wow as you can see the little cave arch there a lovely bit of coastline Looking forward to this middle of the day so there's much, not much you can do with a light but it's still going to be very enjoyable and I'm hoping as I get down there it's really windy up here but I'm hoping it might be slightly sheltered lower down here we go, quite a rough sea this morning and the obvious the obvious shot really I mean, I've seen a few shots online it's my very very first visit here but, uh, the obvious, obvious shot is these is the leading line straight to the to the archway there the trickiest bit and I I know it probably won't register with a lot of people. The trickiest thing is going to be the number of seagulls that are in the sky. They'll all be to, to clone out very often. Not all of them, but in, in sort of wide angle lens shots, they tend to look more like dust spots, especially if you've got a long exposure and they're streaking about in the sky, they tend to spoil the sky. But, but that's nature, you see, you can't change that, so we adapt to it. Yes, looking forward to this, so time to get the kit ready and get the tripod out and uh, see if we can capture some good shots. Sometimes tripods are rubbish their design for ham-fisted photographers. Too ham-fisted and rushing too much as well. Looking forward to this, I really am. So I've already popped on a, a polarizing, a circular polarizing filter and then I'm putting the stick stop on. And yeah, it's just going to be the straightforward classic shot of uh, the milky water around the, the, uh, the rock itself. Two and a half seconds, F14 from the wind lovely lovely little location this and there's some light just getting on it as well so second shot we go right in this time Wonderful location. So one of the shots I'd like to try and do is to capture some of these waves that are breaking here but capture them so the slight streaks so I don't want all creamy water around like I've just done before all this smooth water but just to catch the waves just breaking but still in 
a longish exposure of say I don't know a third of a second possibly as much as half a second and we'll just get these streaks of water going over the scene rather than um, you know rather than being smooth water I may also have a go with a faster shot of speed and just capture them breaking but uh, it's a really rough sea the frustrating thing is it's quite windy so it's a bit tricky to get some of the long exposure shots but uh, yeah, it's a great work in this scene it's a wonderful place so I'm just waiting for a wave to come in now I missed two seconds before it hit a decent sized one as well unfortunately So at the moment I'm just waiting for this area here to fill with waves and then that'll be my next shot and it's just I need a bit of patience really here it comes now brilliant perfect oh love that yeah providing the wind hasn't blown the camera and caused movement then that should be a, a really nice shot Well folks, that was Bow Fiddle Rock. What a brilliant photographic location. I can really, really understand why, why people come here, why it's really popular, not just for photographers, but you know anybody who enjoys the outdoors and, and enjoys coming out walking. It's an absolutely beautiful place. And that is just, that is just something else. So anyway, that was Bow Fiddle Rock. So we're gonna continue our walk now and we're just gonna to stick to the coastline and head back to Cullin because it's decided to pour down now oh. here it is a little bit about it poor fiddle rock now we're just looking on the side of it this time in the rain As we make our way back along the coastal path you see this bay that runs round and we're just going to continue up here round round there onto to the where the sands are the path just runs above it near a golf course and then back along and I don't know whether you can see just there in the distance is the viaduct that we came home uh, came over earlier and then we're back into Cullen itself yeah, it's a shame really the weather spoiled itself it started raining quite heavily but uh, we've got quite a few good shots so i'm not going to mourn yeah it's uh, quite an impressive place i mean the sea is just incredible it's quite a i wouldn't say a rough day i mean it's just a, a fairly heavyish sea but yeah amazing Yeah, so we're heading down to Jenny's well, which is down here. A few steps. The tide looks like it'd be far enough out for us to get around the corner. And we'll find out what Jenny's well is. 
but just look at that sea the waves coming in here lots of caves along here I've noticed yeah the weather might be a bit rubbish but the, uh, the sights are amazing That's a lovely little walk this, it's uh, really nice, plenty to see. Just a case of getting the timing right here. Brilliant, enjoyed that. Jenny's well. We're almost back. It's colour now, it's just across the bay there. Got the beach to walk across. Look at this beach. So this is the way back into Cullen that we're using. The coastal path, the proper coastal path is just there, just to the right of us. You just walked on the beach, we're at low tide now. Beautiful. <laughs> 